video is sponsored by Mel Science. Hi guys, welcome to Dudas David. Today we have some really cool Mel chemistry kits to do. It's a really cool subscription where you get science kits mailed to your house. We're gonna check out two chemistry kits today, but first let's see what's inside the starter kit. Book. Oh, cool, it's like a plastic tray. I wonder what this is. That's oh, cool. Oh look, safety goggles. I should definitely wear these. Whoa, here's a lot of plastic cups. Oh, here's a flask. Here's some blue things. They're like rubber. Then here's a beaker. Then here's a funnel. Ooh, cool. I wonder what this is. Oh, this must be the smartphone holder. It holds the phone perfectly. This will be useful for our experiments. It also comes with the VR headset that works with the VR lessons on their app. Ooh, a syringe. I like syringes. That's everything in the kit. Let's do a colorful one first. Let's get started. This is cool. It looks like there's a couple different experiments in here. A milk one. Ooh, this one looks cool. Wow, there's a lot of different colors here. Here's the gloves. The promo link gives you a 25% off on your first month. I think I want to do the magic liquid experiment. First, I'm going to add some final blue pH indicator. Now I'm going to fill up the flask with water. That's an interesting color. Now we're going to make five different solutions and see how they react with the pH indicator. We're gonna do five drops of the first solution. One, two, three, four, five. The next solution is also gonna be five drops. In the third cup, we're gonna do five drops of each of these. The fourth cup gets a small spoon of baking soda. I've added five drops of this to the last cup. Now we're gonna see how each solution reacts. Whoa, that's so cool. It's like yellow and purple. Whoa, it makes red. Wow. That was cool, it turned red. Going to cup number two. Whoa, that makes it green. Oh, actually it's yellow. That's so cool. Orange, yellow. Whoa, it turned purple for a second. Almost the same color as the other one, but it's yellow. Wow, that's a pretty bright, good looking yellow. It'll be interesting to see how it reacts with the baking soda. Whoa, whoa, it's kind of brown. For the last one, pause your video and write down your prediction for what color you think it'll be. Here we go. It's blue. Oh, it's purple. That one looked really cool. Whoa, it's purple. It was like blue when we poured it in and then it always changes colors as it gets higher. That was so cool. I can't wait for the next science experiment. Let's check out our next chemistry kit. Look at my home lab, it's so cool. Foam eruption. Oh, carbon snake. I'm definitely doing this one. We're gonna need a lot of stuff for this project. We're gonna need a funnel, some special stickers, a spoon, foil, and some calcium gluconate. And also some baking soda and solid fuel. The coolest part about this experiment is that we get to use fire. And to make the flames visible, because you can't see it very well, we're gonna add our solid fuel to the baking soda. Now we're gonna shake it up for about 30 seconds. That should be good. Now we're gonna need our special thermal stickers and our foil and our flame diffuser. This thermal sticker will tell us when it's too hot to touch and it will change colors. Now we're gonna add our foil and fuel. We're gonna put it right in the middle. Now we're gonna get one tablet of calcium gluconate and put it in the middle of our pile. Here comes the crazy part. I'm gonna get my dad to help me light this on fire. I can't wait for this part. Here we go. I never thought this science could be so fun. Whoa. Look, there's a little flame on it. Look, it's growing. Now it's growing even more. Whoa, that's so cool. That's so cool. Whoa, look at it. It's bending over. Look how it's growing. It's all just coming out of that tablet. It's really going now. Whoa, this is so cool. It's working. 
I can't believe it's still going. Well, I hope it doesn't break. That's crazy. All this came out of that tiny little tablet. Oh no, I think it's starting to break. Oh no, it broke. It just keeps going. It's like never ending. Wow. Tablet's almost gone. It's getting really small. This is like super thick, and then it's getting really thin over here. It's like a piece of brass. Oh, I think it just stopped. Oh, looks like it might be done. Look, the sticker turned yellow. That means the plate's hot. Let's do that again. Guess who'll win the Nobel Prize in Chemistry? Whoa. <laughs> that looks so weird. It looks like lava. Now chemistry experiments are safe to do at home. Whoa, that's a really thick one. This one turned out pretty good. Whoa, it's going crazy. I think this is faster than the first one we did. That's yeah, really good. Whoa. And it hasn't broken yet. It's impressive. It's getting skinnier as it goes. Wow, that's a big one. Whoa. Oh, it broke. The coolest part is that they deliver this stuff right to my door. Whoa, it's coming up the side. Oh, wow. That was a really good one. Now we're gonna do the foam eruption. The first step is we're gonna get one spoon of this powdered dye. It looks so fine. Now I'm gonna add 20 milliliters of water. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to mix our sodium carbonate and citric acid to this cone-shaped flask. We'll start with the sodium carbonate. Whoa, that looks cool. Now our citric acid. Now we're gonna put this in a bowl, just in case we have a big spill. Now I'm gonna add a pack of liquid soap. Whoa, uh-oh, spilled. I want you guys to watch the heat sticker in case it turns yellow, because that means it's really hot. And this bottle is too hot to touch during the reaction. Now I'm gonna add our solution and see what it does. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Whoa, it's like a volcano. Whoa. I wonder if it's hot. It's not hot. Whoa, it's coming out a lot. Oh my gosh, look on this side. Oh, look at that, you guys. Doesn't that look so cool? Whoa. I want to do this one again. That looks really cool. Oh, wow. The texture just looks like I want to play it. Does the heat sensor covered? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one more to go down. I don't think it's hot. It's cold. Wow, it's still slowly coming out. That looks amazing how the colors haven't mixed yet. You guys are looking at the white side. Look inside the bottle right there. That looks really cool right there. Oh, look, there's the heat sticker. Looks amazing. You've got blue, red, and white. I know, it's so cool. Look at those bubbles in there. It's still full of bubbles. This is a really long chemical reaction. It's been at least two minutes. It's already been five minutes and we're still going. I love how the instructions are educational. We're gonna do this one more time because that was really cool. It already started erupting. There we go. This one's pretty good. It's going really fast. This is a lot more stuff coming out than last time. I love the stripes in it. Yeah, it's still really pretty. It looks almost metallic. The reaction with the citric acid causes the pink color. But the blue color comes from sodium carbonate because it's a base. There's swirls of colors in it. Leave a comment and tell me which experiment you guys liked the most. And also, click the promo link in the description box to get your science kit started. Thanks for watching my video, and make sure to give me a thumbs up. Bye!